All right, well, well, well. Looks like a machine that I was using once had a component that was actually holding me back. And this component was something that is really important. And this component was the gas regulator. Now there are different types of gas regulators that come with different setups. To be honest, I don't really care about which type I actually use. I can make whatever work, it's fine. However, I just wish I knew that something to do with it could give you a problem. It would have saved me some gas. I've been using this machine for a really long time. I was actually really familiar with it and several other people in the shop that I used to work at put a ton of time in on this machine. However, one time I was trying to figure out what was going on when I was trying to TIG weld some stainless steel. I had just bought myself a new cup set up. I was really excited to use it. After I installed it on my torch, I started adjusting the gas volume to make it perfect for this new cup. But even after setting my gas value for a perfect amount of gas that I knew would work for this size of cup, for some reason, everything I was doing was turning out oxidized. Now, just a reference for everybody out there. When TIG welding stainless steel, the number one thing that we need to avoid is oxide. Oxide is controlled and prevented by adequate gas coverage. If these variables are controlled properly, your stuff should look gold or something like this here. The next step of finish with stainless steel is having a tiny bit of color or something like you see here. What you're looking at here is in most cases probably okay for a lot of standards. However, color is a light formation of oxide. There are situations where zero oxide is allowed. So this is situational to every job. But just remember, a little bit of color is an indication of oxide. Just be aware of that. All right, looking at this example here, what you're looking at is an example of severe oxide forming. Gross. What we can see here in this photo is an excessive heat affected zone. This thing is wild. Overall, we have completely lost the reflective quality of the surface of the stainless steel. So again, going over the levels of what we talked about, gold is good. That means your gas coverage was adequate or perfect. A little bit of color is okay in some circumstances, but again, color is a light formation of oxide. Be aware of that. If you see a little bit of color, heat control is the variable to just in this case, if you wanna take care of it. Then the last example is severe oxide. We have completely lost the reflective surface to the metal and overheating has taken place. Now, when I was experiencing this problem with some brand new gear, obviously I thought the new gear was the problem. However, I did figure out what the problem actually was and it wasn't the gear, it was the guy setting the gear up. So when I was trying to figure out what was going on, I started to wonder if the regulator was part of the problem. What you're looking at here, this is called a flow meter. It's kind of funny that at the time my shop didn't have one. They're pretty cheap. It's completely worth it to get one. Anyway, after getting one, just to double check all this stuff, using the flow meter, you place it over the end of your TIG torch like this, safely activating the gas through your torch. You can see that the gas activates the ball readout. Holding it vertically, you can see exactly what your torch is outputting for gas volume. Now I know what a lot of people are thinking. What's the point of using another ball readout when you've got one on the cylinder? Well, this is where I discovered the problem. Turns out that the ball readout on the regulator on my cylinder was incorrect. The difference was like 10 CFH or something like that. That is a huge discrepancy. Calculating gas volume for different cup sizes with stainless steel is very, very important. So a difference of like 10 CFH or whatever it was is massive. So if this discrepancy is too low, you're not running quite enough gas as you think you are, obviously you're not gonna get adequate gas coverage. And in this case, this is why I was experiencing oxidization. Now, having this discrepancy too high, we are actually running more gas volume than you think you are this is also bad. With stainless steel, excessive gas flow. This can also push your arc around and cause puddle instability, especially when working over surfaces like pipe and stuff, it's super annoying. This tiny little thing here was able to tell me that I had a problem with my regulator right away. And to be completely honest, it wasn't only my machine that I was using. I started going around the shop with this thing, encouraging everybody to check their machines. And it turns out this problem was really common. With the machines that I have in my shop here, I actually set the working pressure on my regulator first, and then I double check everything with the flow meter after. Now, after checking my regulators in this shop here, turns out my regulators read very accurate, which is great but fittings and different types of seals and stuff, they can age and start to deteriorate over time. It's not a big problem, just be aware of it. It's a good habit to get one of these for yourself. You can always check things on the go, make sure that you're running the right gas volume, not a problem. If you do have a discrepancy, what you can do is you can actually adjust it to read correctly through this. It may show that you're reading high or low on the regulator, but the main thing that counts is that the volume coming out of the torch is correct. I would go by this. I absolutely recommend picking one of these up.
Your settings that you are using are vitally important. Having proper gas flow as well as machine settings is gonna save you a ton of practice material and time as well. I definitely think this episode here is one of my most important episodes I've done is specifically on these settings. Go watch that one next, it'll help you out. Do a random act of kindness for a stranger today. My name is Dusty, Phil and Chill. Talk soon, peace.